It's what many call the Wood Wide Web. Trees communicating with each other through networks in the soil using mycorrhizal fungi attached to their roots. That's according to UBC forest ecologist Suzanne Simard, who is at the forefront of studying forest networks. It's really, really important work for uh, protecting forests. She's been credited for influencing how people understand trees in a way that likens their behavior to how societies function. She says trees share nutrients with younger saplings and release chemicals that warn each other of distress, much like a community. But a recent citation review published in Nature Ecology and Evolution claims there is insufficient evidence to support this, saying studies using this approach only looked at two forest types, Douglas fir forests in BC and pine forests in Japan. Most scientists in this field would agree that it's probably likely that trees are connected below ground through these mycorrhizal fungi, but we don't understand their persistence, we don't understand who is connected to who in the forest. Our concern is really that we shouldn't automatically assume that these happen everywhere. The co-authors are disputing the claim that mycorrhizal networks are widespread in forests. They say nutrients could be transferred in other ways. But Samard says their critiques are missing the major point of her work that encourages viewing forests as connected ecosystems that form relationships. This article really focuses on a very narrow part of that, but overall, the idea that forests are connected and communicative places, that doesn't change. Still, the co-authors are asking for more evidence. The message is that although these fungi are there and very important, we need to study a lot more forests to see how well they're connected. They're extremely variable. Simard says she is welcoming more calls for research. That's always needed, especially in ecosystems as complex as forests. We, we need to work together as teams to really solve these complex problems. Simard says critiques of any research are expected, and the back and forth is a natural part of the scientific method. Ali Patarga, CBC News, Vancouver.